digital scan of the Titanic was made. Incredibly detailed images show the wreck in all its glory. A deep-sea mapping company has created a digital twin resting at the bottom of the Titanic's ocean. The wreck has been presented with unprecedented detail. This may shed new light on the disaster that occurred during the ship's maiden voyage in 1912. For the first time, experts were able to see the wreck of the Titanic in 3D. The image was prepared as if the water had been drained and the ship was dry. The scan was conducted in the summer of 2022 by Magellan Limited, a deep-sea mapping company, and Atlantic Productions, which is producing a documentary about the project. The scans will also preserve the Titanic for future generations. The wreck is subject to rapid degradation caused by iron-eating bacteria, salt water and deep ocean currents. The scans could provide new forensic evidence that will help us better understand why the ship sank, according to Parks Stevenson, an expert on the history of the Titanic. I've seen enough in my years of studying the wreck of the Titanic to be suspicious of the narrative we've become accustomed to over the last century, says Stevenson. The expert disputes that the ship hit the iceberg on the starboard side. I am seeing more and more evidence that suggests the Titanic actually ran aground and brushed against and submerged an iceberg shelf. Such a scenario was proposed in April 1912, he explains. The wreck still has a story to tell. You can learn a lot from it, adds Stevenson. For a long time, it was assumed that the Titanic sank in one piece. However, when the wreck was discovered in 1985, it turned out that it had disintegrated before reaching the bottom of the ocean. It now lies in two main parts about 600 to 800 meters apart. The wreck has been examined, recorded and imaged many times. However, conventional cameras do not image the entire object, but only its small fragments. And there is little time left to thoroughly study the Titanic. Iron-eating microbes have colonized the ship and are gradually transforming 50,000 tons of iron into rusty structures. These eventually dissolve into a fine powder and are carried by ocean currents. The scans of the wreck were made during a six-week expedition in the summer of 2022. Two underwater drones, dubbed Romeo and Juliet, spent more than 200 hours near the seabed detailing every millimeter of the wreck and several kilometers of debris field. Submarines have made over 700,000 images from every angle, creating an accurate 3D reconstruction of the wreck. The photographs show its exact shape and corrosion damage. In turn, near the Titanic, there are a number of items, including unopened bottles of champagne, statues and dozens of shoes. During the expedition, flowers were laid at the resting place of the wreck to honor the memory of more than 1,500 people who died in the disaster. On the night of April 14, 15, 1912, during its maiden voyage, a ship belonging to the English shipping company White Star Line sank after colliding with an iceberg. The Titanic has been underwater for 111 years. The wreck lies on the bottom of the Atlantic at a depth of 3,810 meters off the coast of Newfoundland, Canada. The passenger liner, which was the largest ship of its time, sank while traveling from Southampton to New York. Of the 2,200 passengers and crew on board, over 1,500 died. All sources mention the iceberg as the cause of the disaster but probably many factors contributed to the tragedy. In 2017, a theory was put forward about a fire that took place at the Belfast shipyard and could have significantly affected the strength of the ship's hull. However, there is no mention of the fire in official documents.
In 2020, it was hypothesized that the geomagnetic storm that caused the aurora may have disrupted the ship's navigation and communication systems, contributing to the deaths of more than 1,500 passengers. Nearly a thousand strange structures have been discovered in the center of the Milky Way. New images of the Milky Way's heart have revealed nearly 1,000 mysterious filaments stretching up to 150 light years long. Similar structures were first discovered in the 1980s. But so far their origin and nature have baffled scientists. New sightings could change what we currently know about them. The first similar structures were noticed in the 1980s by Fahad Youssef Zadeh of Northwestern University. The new images, taken with the ultra-sensitive Meerkat radio telescope in South Africa, show nearly 1,000 previously unknown magnetic filaments up to 150 light years long. Some occur in pairs, others in larger clusters, often arranged at regular intervals next to each other. Like the strings on a harp, the origin of these enigmatic structures has puzzled scientists, but recent observations may change that. New imaging of the center of the Milky Way has revealed ten times more filaments than previously discovered enabling statistical studies to be performed on a large population of filaments for the first time. This could potentially help unravel the mystery of the mysterious structures. The description of the discovery has been accepted for publication in the Astrophysical Journal Letters and is now available on the Archive Preprint database. The origin of these enigmatic structures has puzzled scientists, but recent observations may change that. New imaging of the center of the Milky Way has revealed ten times more filaments than previously discovered, enabling statistical studies to be performed on a large population of filaments for the first time. This could potentially help unravel the mystery of the mysterious structures. The description of the discovery has been accepted for publication in the Astrophysical Journal Letters and is now available on the Archive Preprint database. I spent a lot of time looking at this painting as I work on it, and I never get tired of it, says Hayward. When I show it to people who may be new to radio astronomy or otherwise unfamiliar with it, I always try to point out that radio imaging wasn't always like this and that the real step forward is Meerkat in terms of what it can do. Dot. It is a real privilege to work for years with colleagues from SARAO, South African Radio Astronomy Observatories, of which Meerkat is a part. Editorial note. Who built this fantastic telescope? He adds. To see the fibers on a finer scale. Yusef Zadeh's team used a technique to remove background noise from the main image to isolate the fibers from surrounding structures. The resulting image amazed him. It's like modern art. These paintings are exceptionally beautiful and rich, and the mystery of it all makes them even more interesting, Yusef Zadeh points out. Although scientists still don't quite know what the observed structures are and how they formed, Yusef Zadeh was able to fit some pieces of the puzzle together. He and his team determined that these structures contained cosmic ray electrons spinning in their magnetic fields at close to the speed of light. Why is this happening? Scholars do not know the answer to this question. Based on the variability of the radiation emitted from the filaments, which is different from that of supernova remnants. The researchers determined that these structures were not the result of a supernova explosion. More likely, the filaments are linked to past activity from the supermassive black hole at the center of the Milky Way, rather than coordinated supernova explosions. The team also found that the magnetic fields along the fibers are amplified. This feature is common to all these structures. For the first time, we were able to study the statistical characteristics of the fibers. Thanks to this, 
we can learn more about the properties of these unusual structures. For example, if you were from another planet and you met one very tall person on Earth, you might assume that all people are tall. But if you keep statistics for the human population, you can find the average height. And we do exactly that. We can determine the strength of the magnetic fields, their length, orientation and spectroscopic spectrum, explains Yusef Zadeh. The researchers were particularly surprised by the distribution of the fibers. Those in clusters appear to be separated from each other by perfectly equal distances of about the length of an astronomical unit, which is roughly the distance of the Earth from the Sun. But on this topic, scientists do not know much. It is not even known whether the filaments move or change over time, or what causes electrons to accelerate to such incredible speeds. Every time we answer one question, many other questions arise, Yusef Zadeh points out.